So for those of you who have clicked on this video, you must have seen these kinds of animated NFTs and must be wondering that how to make one yourself. So in this video, we are exactly going to talk about how to create an animated NFT and upload it on OpenSea. So if you have a character already, I'm going to tell you a very easy way to animate it. But if you don't have a character too, I'm going to show you first that where to get your character from. So go to the web browser and type in free3d.com. Here you can, you're going to get multiple characters for free. So you can download any character out of these. Uh, but you should make sure that these characters should be in the .obj format. .obj. So just download your character from right here. And once you have, there's one more way to get your character. You can pay five to ten dollars on Fiverr for a person to make and make a character for you. But that is an expensive way. If you want zero, you want to spend zero money. This is a way that you can opt by going to this site and download downloading a free character. So after you've download after you've got your character, you I'll just download it real quick. I've downloaded my character right here. So after this step, we are going to go to a site, uh, Mixamo. This is a site which lets your lets you animate any character for free. The only thing you need to do is sign up. So I've already signed up. I just need to log in. So I'm going to log in. Continue with Google. So right here it says upload upload character. So I'm going to go here and then the, the character that I downloaded from that free website I'm going to drag and drop it here. So we have our character right here. Just click on next and then align all these with the chin, wrist, elbows, knees, groin. So we just need to align all these points so that the software can animate our character nicely. Knees, groin and then click on next. It's going to take up to two minutes. So just have some patience and wait. So the website has recognized our character and is ready to animate it now. So then click on next. And then uh, you can choose any animation out of these. But in order for it to look like a NFT that we see usually uh, like the invisible friends and one or two more animated NFTs, we need a walking animation. So we'll search for a walking animation here. And then we can choose which type of walking do you need here. I'm going to select this one right here. Uh, or this is, this is better, yeah. So click on this and then you can set the camera right here so we need this type of walk and then you click on this and rotate the camera too so this way we have our animation we can animate any character in this way and after this you just need to save this you can just click on download so you click on download and then see all the specs yeah fbx we need yeah this format is okay fbx binary and then go to download and click on it 
So once you have downloaded your file, your 3D model, go to Blender, delete this box, uh, cube right here, go to File and go to Import .fbx file and go wherever you have saved your model and double click. This way you will import this. But right now you see it's too small. So you're going to go right here and scale it. So we go on this option right here. Click it. And then click and drag it. And it is scaled. If you want to scale it a bit more, click and drag again. and this looks good this much size looks not bad actually so and then now let's play it and check how it's looking let's play the animation so you see after some time it is stopping because we need a loop we need a loop of animation so let's see where it is stopping it is stopping on 30 second frame so here we just need up to 32 frames and then now when we click the animation it is going to play in a loop and yes that's perfect so now we need to add like a background and a floor so for that go to add go to mesh and plane and then scale this And after this, add a new plane for the background. Click on rotate and rotate it. Then go here and click on scale. Scale it sideways and upwards. And so it's scaled to now. Now give your background and all a color. So to give it a color, click on this. Go right here. Material properties. Click on new. Base color. And then give it any color. So right here it is showing what uh, I'm gonna give it like uh, green or, or yellow yellow looks good yeah yellow color and the floor let's select the floor now go to new and the floor is gonna be black yeah that's look that's looking good not completely black though and yeah this setup is looking pretty good and after that the last step is to align our this is the light so we need to align our light so click right here bring the light here And if you want to increase the light, you can go right here and increase the power of the light. And just for the light, we need sunlight. Decrease the power for the sunlight. Select your uh, camera too. So we go on this right here and select our camera. And you need to align your camera too. So after you align your camera by going here and there, 
click on this and check whether your view is okay or not so if you want to change your view you go back and shift your camera the way you want so that you have a preferable view I still don't like my view I need a side angle so I go right here turn it a bit more and then check my view and yeah I need to zoom the camera a bit so just take the camera a bit forward so I've set my camera and light to I kept the light on point light and uh, this is the power and now let's see how it looks like in the frame so it's looking like this and let's play the animation yeah it's looking good now go to render render image and this is what our final render will be like so to actually render it you need to go on this option right here output properties click on it go down and go to this right here ffm peg video open this right here and click on this and go to mpeg4 that is mp4 so click on it and then render render animation so right here it is rendering our animation wait for one or two minutes so once it is rendered go to wherever you saved it and check this this is our mp4 file let's see how it looks yeah it looks okay so now we need to convert it into a gif gif right so for that we need to go to our web browser because we need it in a loop so for that we need to go to our web browser so go here and type in mp4 to gif converter and we are going to use this one right here choose file go to that folder and select your animation and then click on convert and then download your file take it to the desktop and view the file and yeah this is our animation right here this way which I have told you is a uh, is a very vast way you can play around with it make different designs different characters you can find different characters pay on Fiverr tell them to create a character take it to Mixamo and animate it go to blender so there are many things that you can do with it it's not limited and if you want me to make more videos like this and find this video helpful please consider subscribing and like the video and comment down below what all topics should I cover next and if you want to know how to upload this to OpenSea uh, click on the i button on the top or click in the link down below in the description I have all the videos covered